example, this conference will now be recorded. For example, pass the, pass the obstacle from the left side or right side. When to make the lane change, where to make the lane change, and uh, and the speed planning along the along the path. There are so many options for the AV and the SAS cause high computational load to generate the trajectory. And also, a AV may not need to have so many options. Instead, the path of the the path of the AV is fixed or limited to a few options most of the time. For example, if the AV has a fixed path, as shown in the figure, the location of the AV along this path can be represented by one parameter. That's the travel distance along the, of the AV from the origin along the path. This representation converts the two-dimensional spatial path to a one-dimensional path, since we can obtain the location of the AV by the travel distance rather than use XY coordinations in the space. This is equivalent to hold the two sides of this curved path and pull this curve to a straight line. Finally, our task is to plan the location of the AV in the studied time horizon. That's the trajectory of this AV as the green line shown in the figure. Once we consider the motion of this, this obstacle, let's say this, this obstacle, obstacle is a pedestrian. He will cross the street. This, the motion of this obstacle can be reflected in the time-space range by the conflict area. To avoid this pedestrian, it's, it's equivalent to plan a trajectory for the AV in the time-space range and the trajectory cannot intersect with the conflict area. Based on this, let, let me introduce the investigated problem in a formal way. Here, we consider a two-dimensional space as an infrastructure where an AV and a set of MO are present. The AV starts starts at the location zero and uh, has to location D. The path for the AV is fixed and uh, the length, length of it is L. The AV needs to pass location D before time T. The kinematic parameters of the AV are given, such as the uh, maximum, maximum speed, min, maximum and minimum acceleration initial speed and uh, final speed range. We also assume that there is a reliable trajectory prediction algorithm and the trajectory of the moving objects are known. Then the motion of, of the, this AV is limited by a set of constraints. And uh, XT is the location of the AV at time T. The first two constraints are the speed and the acceleration limit constraints. The differential of the location is, is the speed and the differential of the speed is the acceleration. In the operation process, the speed and the acceleration cannot over the range. Then the constraints are the initial states and the final states of the AV. The initial location, speed, and acceleration are given. When the AV passes the location L, the speed of it should be kept in a given range. The last constraint is the obstacle avoidance constraint. That in indicates the trajectory of the AV cannot intersect with the conflict areas in the time space range. The objective for this problem is to design a time-efficient, safe, and comfortable trajectory for the AV from the origin to the destination. And W is a coefficient for the travel distance. Next, we will further 
analyze the properties of the conflict areas. In real operation, an MO may cause two types of conflict with a AV. In the first type, the MO path intersects with the AV path, for example, the intersection scenario in the left figure. Assume that the MO occupies the space x0 to x1 during time t0 to t1. The conflict area generated by the MO in the time space range is shown in the right figure. As can be seen in the red figure, the, the red area is a collision area. It means that the time space range occupied by the MO. For safety reasons, we add some buffer distance before and after the collision area. We, we name the summation of these two types of area by the conflict area of the MO. The second type of conflict is that the MO path overlaps with the AV path. For example, the following scenario shown in the figure. Assume the length of the MO is, is, is small l and the MO moves from location x0 to l prime during time t0 to big T with a constant speed. The conflict area caused by the MO on the time space range is shown in the right figure. By considering the kinematics of the AV, the conflict area can be extended. Here we use a parallelogram as an example. Firstly, we de define the slowest trajectory from one location to another location in a given time period as a trajectory with the maximum travel time. For example, <coughs> for example, segment OA is the slowest trajectory from point O to point A. It means no trajectory can arrive point A slower than trajectory OA. Similarly, we can define the fast, fastest trajectory Segment OB is the fastest trajectory from point O to point B. It means no trajectory can arrive point B faster than trajectory OB. Then it can be found if the, o, if, if the AV wants to avoid the conflict area, ABEC, the trajectory cannot enter the area FAB. Otherwise, the, the trajectory will hit the conflict area. As a result, area FAB is an extended conflict area. Similarly, it, it can be found that the area CHE is an ex extended conflict area by the slowest trajectory CD and the fastest trajectory EG. Overall, the, the original conflict area ABEC is extended to the area F B E H C A. We introduce the conflict area analysis if there is only one MO in the environment. However, in the real traffic environment, there are more than one MO exists. Thus, the conflict area for multiple MOs need to be studied. The, the conflict area of multiple MOs may not be the summation of each single MO, MO's conflict area. Because the conflict, conflict area of the single MO may intersect with, with each other and thus form a larger irregular area in the time space range as shown in the figure. Here we propose a multi area fusion algorithm to fill the intersected conflict areas into one larger area. <coughs> the, 
the, the new form, the conflict error can be extended by using the kinematics of the AV. For example, the, the new formed area is showing in the figure. Point A is a, is a point in the new formed area and has minimum x value. Point B is, is that has a minimum y, y value. And point C has a maximum y, y value and the point D has a ma maximum m maximum x value. Then back going back from point A at the maximum speed as shown in the as, as showed as a segment F A and going back from point B at the minimum speed as shown as F B. Point point F is the intersection point for segment F A and F B. Area F A B is the extended conflict area for the multiple for the generated uh, new area. That's the fusion of multiple single conflict area. Similarly, going forward from point C at the minimum speed and from point E at the maximum speed, area CHE is an extended uh, conflict area. The, the, then we come to the solution algorithm for for the proposed uh, problem. The AV trajectory plan, planning problem is a time efficient, time sufficient, time time sensitive problem that requires the planned trajectory must be generated within a relatively short time period, especially for some complex traffic environment. Thus, here I propose a customized dynamic programming algorithm based on the generated conflict area. It can be found that the investigated problem has the following features. The system is a discrete time dynamic system, and the system states at time t plus one is only determined by the decision and the state at time t. As a result, the optimal AV trajectory can be solved by using dynamic programming algorithm. Each discrete time interval is treated as a stage of the investigated problem. So the location of the AV at the current stage, the speed of the AV at the current stage, and the acceleration of the AV at the previous stage are the states of the investigated problem. The decision we need to make at each stage is the acceleration of the AV and the MT is the overall cost to stage T and the following is a transition function for the dynamic programming algorithm. Here I use a small example to illustrate how the proposed algorithm works. In the example, the AV starts at location zero, at time zero. The AV needs to arrive location L before time T. Each time the AV can move forward with a maximum of two units. Then the arrows show the possible motion of the AV at each stage. By connecting these arrows at each stage, a trajectory will be generated. Two cut rules are proposed to cut invalid trajectories in the time space range. The first one is that if, if the AV trajectory intersects with the conflict area, the trajectory is, in, is invalid. And the second, the second one is is if the AV trajectory cannot arrive the destination by time t with the maximum speed, the trajectory is invalid. For example, the, the, the lowest trajectory is cut because even with the maximum speed, move, move to two units at each time interval. 
it still cannot arrive location L by time C. Then a set of experiments are conducted to show the performance of the proposed model and algorithm. The experiment settings of the AV are listed in the table. The, le the length of one time interval is, is 200 milliseconds. It means every, every 200 milliseconds, we need to plan one location speed and acceleration for the AV. And the maximum speed, maximum and the minimum accelerations, initial states and the final states of the AV are given. With this, the experiment are conducted. Oh, by the way, uh, for, uh, here we propose several different, uh, different uh, weights weight of travel distance. And uh, so the W can equal to four values. We, we test the performance for different uh, values. Performance of the proposed, uh, proposed uh, model and algorithm. To test the effectiveness of the proposed model and algorithm, scenario A conducts two experiments. One is that the AV passes uh, an intersection, and uh, the other is that the AV follows another vehicle. The conflict areas are generated as shown in the figure. You can see the buffer area, collision area, and the extended conflict area. And uh, in, in the previous, we, we introduced a method to generate this, this area. And the summation of these three areas are the conflict, are the final conflict area caused by this MO. This, this MO, yes. <clears throat> and the, you can see the, the trajectory with different parameter settings are generated in the, in the figure. Note that uh, all the generated trajectory cannot uh, intersect with the uh, with the conflict conflict area. To test the, the capability of the proposed model and algorithm on the complex traffic environment, an uh, experiment with more than one mo more than one mo in the environment is conducted. Also, the final conflict area is shown in the figure. The optimal trajectory are obtained by the proposed algorithm with, without the collisions with uh, the MO. Then we compare the, then, then we already know the proposed model and algorithm can work. And uh, Next, we will compile the performance of the proposed algorithm with, uh, with, with some benchmark. Here, we use a commercial server, Ruby, as a benchmark. It can be seen that uh, the, the same optimal trajectories are obtained by these two methods, by the proposed uh, dynamic programming algorithm and the commercial server, Ruby. However, the proposed algorithm always requires less solution time than that of Groovy. It suggests that the, the proposed algorithm has better capability to generate the optimal trajectory on the complex environment than Groovy. Particularly, due to the nature, nature of the algorithm, the larger the conflict area in the time-space range, in other words, the more complex the, the traffic environment, the more invalid trajectory will be cut at each stage, and the shorter the computational time needed for generating the optimal solution. To show the improvements improvements of the proposed algorithm. Here we compare, compare the 
Nambox is based on the original dynamic programming algorithm and the proposed algorithm. Since we propose the two rules for cutting the invalid trajectory, it can be observed that the number of state space of the original of the original dynamic programming of the original dynamic programming increases rapidly due to the curse of dimensionality problem. However, the, the state space have, have a low increase rate for the proposed algorithm because, because a large number of invalid state, state, state space are cut by the proposed rules at each stage. And the, the future studies can be conducted from two uh, two aspects. One is to conduct more experiments to further demonstrate the performance of the proposed model and algorithm. Since we have a we have an autonomous vehicle, field experiments can be conducted. As mentioned before, the, the AV trajectory planning is a, the AV trajectory planning problem is a time sensitive problem. So some different solution algorithm will be studied to further reduce the computational time. For example, some heuristic algorithms. And uh, that's all about the trajectory planning pr presentation and the thank you for your time. Uh, there are some videos we showed when we used our autonomous vehicle to conduct the testing. One is shot at the campus and the other is at the uh, bush garden. And uh, any questions about the, about this research? I think it's kind of short. Uh, thank Tom um, for this presentation. Any questions from the audience? Um, so I, I just wonder if you have uh, any plan to implement uh, that uh, in our vehicles and how do you conduct the tests with the resources we have? Oh, actually, that's a good question. How to, I mean, how to conduct the conduct the, the, the proposed algorithm, how to uh, implement the, the, the algorithm in our autonomous vehicle, right? Mm, I think so far the, so far we can make some preliminary uh, testing for the proposed model and algorithm. We can set up a, uh, set up a, I mean, exper experiment, uh, for example, uh, you have a pedestrian, you know, he will pass the, pass the, the, pass the, the path of the, if, of the AV at uh, some specific time, specific time and, uh, so the tra trajectory for the moving objects is given by using the uh, by using the proposed uh, model and the uh, algorithm. We can obtain the trajectory for the for the AV. Then 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 the then we then the, then we control the AV follows the given trajectory and uh, and uh, put the and the pedestrian just pass the, the pass just passes the path of the the AV and the, the AV will not hit the pedestrian. Maybe that's a simple simple experiment we can we can make so far. 
and the later of absolutely we will we will test our test this this model and algorithm in some complex environment. But uh, but how to predict the only complex trajectory will be awesome, right? Okay, that sounds great. Um, yeah, like the currently the, the, the exact error may need some improvement. So it's uh, it's kind of yeah. The, the, it, there might be a challenge to implement that uh, in real time control. Um, any other questions from the audience? Yeah, overall, it's a very nice work, and uh, the um, yeah the algorithm uh, is uh, rigorous, and uh, the um, you know uh, I think there is still some room to improve it uh, to make it uh, implementable to the uh, the vehicles. Um, with this, I think uh, you know that. Uh, um, do I okay? Let's say okay. I think we can conclude this uh, seminar, and uh, um, and this concludes uh, all the seminar series for this uh, spring semester. And uh, um, I hope, uh, yeah, all of you benefit from this experience. And uh, we will probably resume uh, this uh, seminar series in the fall semester. And I hope uh, you know that time. We could to see each other face to, uh, in person, face to face. And with this, uh, let's uh, we'll thank uh, Tom and all the speakers throughout the semester, and thank all of you for attending this uh, uh, seminar. And uh, uh, this class adjourns, but if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to um, contact me. And also, IT student officers, do you know? Um, if you may, can you send, send me the attendance students, student attendance sheet for the students that have registered the classes? Is there anyone from IT? Fidelis? Hello, Fidelis? Are you there? Anyway, I can contact them later, maybe. Um, okay, hope you have a good uh, rest of the semester and good luck to your finals. Bye-bye. Okay, thank you, bye-bye.